Venus is the second planet from the Sun and is often referred to as the Earth's twin due to its similar size and mass. However, despite its similarities to Earth, Venus is one of the harshest and most inhospitable environments in our solar system. The surface of Venus is characterized by an extremely hot and hostile environment, with temperatures that can reach up to 460 degrees Celsius, 870 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hot enough to melt lead. The planet's thick atmosphere, which is composed mostly of carbon dioxide, traps heat and contributes to its scorching temperatures. The atmosphere also exerts a massive pressure that is equivalent to that experienced at a depth of over a kilometer in Earth's oceans. One of the most striking features of Venus is its thick cloud cover, which completely obscures the planet's surface from view. The clouds are composed mostly of sulfuric acid and play a crucial role in the planet's weather patterns. The clouds constantly rotate around the planet, and strong winds can reach speeds of over 400 km per hour. Despite its inhospitable surface, Venus has a rich geological history and is thought to have once had a much more hospitable environment with liquid water on its surface. However, the planet's thick atmosphere and intense greenhouse effect have caused the water to evaporate, leaving the surface dry and barren. Venus is also known for its large number of active volcanoes, with over 1,000 volcanic features identified on its surface. The volcanoes are thought to have played a significant role in shaping the planet's surface and contribute to the resurfacing of the planet over time. Despite its harsh environment, Venus has been the subject of numerous missions by various space agencies, including NASA and the Soviet Union. These missions have helped scientists to better understand the planet's atmosphere, surface, and geology, and have provided new insights into the processes that shape the planet. Mercury is the smallest and closest planet to the Sun in our solar system. Despite its proximity to the Sun, it is a poorly understood world due to its distance from Earth and the harsh conditions it experiences. Mercury has a heavily cratered surface that is scarred by impacts from asteroids and comets. The largest impact crater on the planet, the Caloris Basin, is over 1,300 kilometers in diameter and is thought to have been created by a massive impact early in the planet's history. One of the most striking features of Mercury is its extreme temperature variations, with temperatures reaching as high as 430 degrees Celsius, 800 degrees Fahrenheit, during the day and dropping to minus 170 degrees Celsius, minus 274 degrees Fahrenheit, at night. This is due to the planet's close proximity to the Sun and its lack of an atmosphere to retain heat. The planet's small size and lack of an atmosphere also make it highly susceptible to solar and cosmic radiation, which can cause significant damage to any surface features. Despite its harsh environment, Mercury has a unique and fascinating geology. It is the only planet in our solar system that has a global magnetic field, which is thought to be the result of a dynamo created by the planet's iron-rich core. The magnetic field provides some protection from the harmful effects of solar and cosmic radiation. Mercury also has a rich geological history and is thought to have formed from the same materials that formed the inner planets. The planet's surface is divided into two distinct regions, the heavily cratered highlands, which are thought to be ancient, and the relatively smooth plains, which are thought to be the result of volcanic activity. Several missions have been launched to study Mercury, including NASA's MESSENGER mission, which orbited the planet for over four years and provided valuable insights into its geology and surface features. These missions have helped scientists to better understand the planet's formation and evolution and have provided new insights into the processes that shape the inner planets. Saturn's moon Titan is the largest of Saturn's many moons and is one of the most fascinating and unique objects in our solar system. With its thick atmosphere, large seas, and complex chemistry, Titan is often referred to as a prebiotic world, as it may offer clues about the conditions that existed on early Earth before life evolved. Titan's atmosphere is primarily composed of nitrogen, with small amounts of methane and other hydrocarbons. The atmosphere is so thick that it completely obscures the moon's surface from view, and only through the use of radar and other remote sensing techniques have scientists been able to study its features. One of the most striking features of Titan is its large seas of liquid methane and ethane, which are thought to play a similar role to Earth's oceans. These seas are some of the largest bodies of liquid in our solar system and are thought to have a major impact on the moon's weather and climate. In addition to its seas, Titan also has a complex and varied landscape, with large sand dunes, rugged mountains, and icy terrain. The moon's surface is also dotted with lakes and rivers, which are thought to be fed by rainfall from the atmosphere. Titan's unique chemistry has also attracted the attention of scientists, as it provides a glimpse into the processes that may have led to the development of life on Earth. 
The moon's atmosphere contains complex organic compounds, and there is evidence of a hydrologic cycle similar to that found on Earth. Several missions have been sent to Titan to study its atmosphere, surface, and geology, including NASA's Cassini-Huygens mission and the European Space Agency's Huygens probe. These missions have provided valuable insights into the Moon's environment and have helped to build a more complete picture of its complex and fascinating geology. Mars, also known as the Red Planet, is the fourth planet from the Sun in our solar system and is a popular target for exploration due to its proximity to Earth and its potential for supporting life. Mars is a rocky planet with a thin atmosphere, and its surface is covered by a layer of dust and sand that gives it its distinctive red color. The planet is known for its large, extinct volcanoes, including Olympus Mons, which is the largest volcano in the solar system, and Valles Marineris, a massive canyon system that stretches over 4,000 kilometers. Mars also has evidence of past water activity on its surface, with numerous dried-up riverbeds and gullies that suggest the presence of liquid water in the past. This, combined with the discovery of subsurface ice and the recent detection of methane in the atmosphere, has led scientists to believe that Mars may have once supported life, or that it may still support life in some form. In recent years, several missions have been sent to Mars to study its geology, atmosphere, and potential for habitability. These missions have provided valuable insights into the planet's history and have confirmed the presence of key ingredients for life, such as water and organic molecules. One of the main goals of current and future missions to Mars is to search for evidence of past or present life on the planet. In addition, scientists are also interested in learning more about Mars' geology and climate and how they have changed over time. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system, and it is a gas giant with a distinctive reddish-orange color and a stormy atmosphere. It is the fifth planet from the Sun and is located just over 778 million kilometer from the star. Jupiter is a fascinating planet, with a large and complex atmosphere that is dominated by storms, including the famous Great Red Spot, which is a massive and persistent storm system that has been raging for over 400 years. The planet's atmosphere is composed mostly of hydrogen and helium, with trace amounts of methane, ammonia, and water vapor. Jupiter is also surrounded by a large and diverse system of moons, including the Galilean moons, which are the four largest moons of Jupiter and are named after their discoverer, Galileo Galilei. These moons are Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto, and they are some of the most fascinating objects in our solar system, with unique and dynamic surfaces that are shaped by their close proximity to Jupiter.